Good evening. Yep. Read the whole plan. All 400 pages. We're going to increase the size of the print. So that's, we're here to talk about bus redesign network. And I, I know the open is talking about how we're going to reimagine the system. And, and, uh, <laughs> and, and, and the system needs to be reimagined. He's right. He's right to the things that he said. And, and that's why they've been great partners. That being said, um, I, I need for everybody to understand what we're working with here. And this is a meeting that we had community board uh, 12 and, and, and uh, the Amalgamated Transit Union and, and, and other stakeholders that have lived and worked and served this community for a half century and more, um, who, who really understands the needs and values of the community and, and not let those be defined by, by other folks, right? And or the needs of the MTA, right? And, and certainly, um, there's some good ideas here. There are even some better than good ideas here, but not at the expense of what we see every day. The people, there are Sufton Boulevard subway station carries six million people a year. Parsons and Archer carries another 10 million people a year. Between those two stops, 16 million trips. How do those people get there? Bus. Bus. Right? And we want it to be safe, we want it to be efficient, um, but we are operating on the old, antiquated, old trolley lines That's that right. haven't been reimagined for nearly 75 years. Right. We don't fix something that's been a problem for I'm sorry. nearly a century. Um, when it's course you um, and by consolidation, uh, we have to be uh, forward thinking. We have to think about the use of technology, as you just talked about. Uh, a lot of these lines, we have to have a real talk as a community as to what our needs are and how those needs translate into uh, a different service, right? And, and I know a lot of us don't like the idea of walking and we just finally kind of was we can figure out another way to do that. And, and, and there is a need. Um, there are some stops that aren't necessarily necessary, but just um, to, uh, to generically say that we're going to do 1,400 feet between the bus stop is not necessarily the case. We can't, we can't just uh, uh, draw. Uh, pay that with, with, with uh, a single brush, right? And so um, it's, it's, it's going to take some thoughtful input from everyone. But we have to be strategic, we have to be thoughtful, and we have to be reasonable, right? And, and as was indicated, that there are ways to provide better services that don't include moving and going. I, I think I'm probably, how many bus, how many folks in the room have ever Driven a bus in Queens. Right? How many actual regular bus riders do we have? How many people ride a bus? Right? And, and, and really understand all that. Right? And so, what, what's interesting about that is how do we really get to and from in the most efficient way? And that's what we need to talk about as a community. And I know. By demonstrating, <coughs> by just what we have done in the past, how <coughs> this redevelopment, how education, how transportation will now also reflect the needs and the values of us and not be defined by someone else. Right? That's important. It is important that we be able to go to, let's say, Flush and Meadow. The zoo, the, a court, the planetarium, and, and the terrace on the parks and, and, and city field, and, and, and some of Queens' biggest attractions. How do you get there from, from, from here? If, 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 if you don't drive, you don't even know that there are folks that look like you in East Coast. 
and that's how we are. And so, so you know, and we need to we need to, to grow. And in order for us to grow, we have to have a better system. And in order to have a better system, you have to transform all of your experiences and ideas into that system. We have to rely on the experts, right? And the experts aren't exclusively the NTR, which is why um, we have uh, the Anonymous Transit Union and other professionals that are here, some of our academic, academics. Um, who work on bus uh, redesign and, and uh, transportation planning are also giving up their time to make sure that we can come up with a system that we all deserve. But it can, it cannot be course neutral. You cannot fix something that's been broken for 100 years and not invest, and not been invested in in 100 years, right? I remember that we were trying to get a bus to go two blocks, and, and, and every, they tell me the course a minute or two, and that's going to translate into more than we can't afford to do. We can't afford to spend 15 extra minutes a day, whatever that course is going to be, to make sure that we have the type of line that we deserve. This is our opportunity to really do the things that we couldn't do in the past. But again, I emphasize we can't do it being course neutral. We can't do it not investing. So I'm just going to deviate from that for one moment from this talk about something else that I that came across my desk last week. It didn't come from these guys, but it came from the MTA, so there's no difference. Right? And that is, that is a, uh, a RFP, responsible bid, for a last mile service. Right? What? Sort of like Amazon, right? When they get off the plane, they, they get the little bands. Uber. 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 Right? Yeah. The bands. They so want to cut bus drivers' jobs. Instead of having buses overnight, they want to give you some alternative last Yep. Instead yep. Or the dollar bands that we sell. Or the dollar bands that we refuse to ride right here. Right? And so, whoever wins the bid. Right? So there's just a little bit of a disingenuous, but there's a bit of a disingenuousness that we talk about having real investment and everybody being invested in this, that this partnership and this collaboration that we have here and, and MTA headquarters is putting out RFPs to secure alternative transportation. Wow. Mm. That's been the problem here in Southeast Queens. Yep. The reason why we continue to be a, a transportation desk, although we are the hub of New York City when it comes to this is this is the gateway when people when the when the 60 million people visit New York City via Kennedy Airport. Sorry. Whether it's the Long Island Railroad, it's the Air Train, it's the E, the F, and the J, we have to do better. And while other people in the city of New York spend up to $10.25 per trip right. to subsidize ferries that go to Wall Street and the business district, subsidizing communities of folks that earn on average $100,000 and don't need your money. Mm -hmm. But here, our alternatives are dollar bags. They're unsafe, unreliable, unaccessible, and our tax dollars say that we deserve better. So, I'm just going to leave with this. Let us all put our thinking caps on and use all the resources, our offices and Council Member Adams and joined by Council Member Adams, um, our state colleagues who are on this, uh, uh, also co-sponsors here, along with Community Board 12 and the Mountain Bay Transit Union. They are obviously in Albany doing their due diligence on behalf of this community. Um, Senator Leroy Comrie, strategically and for a reason, is the chair of corporations and they oversee the MTA. Recognizing that he couldn't chair just about any uh, committee that he desired in the leadership in Albany recognizing that transportation is the most important issue in Queens and in Southeast Queens, right? Because if you want to suppress the upward mobility of a community, take 
take away their transportation. Mm -hmm. We want the communities to grow. Thank you so much. I'll call you. Provide transportation. And so we are here to make sure that we have the proper transportation uh, option, that we have a, a system that we can all be proud of. And, and, and I will say that I know that this group here, this group of folks, of you that have come out and taken your time to be here, the, the elected that are here, the union, the community, because the people in this room are absolutely committed to that. The DOT in the room? Yes, they are. Um, so, thank you, guys. Um, as, as Mr. Holmes indicated, this doesn't happen without a partnership. The busiest hub that we have here is in, in the Queens, guess what? Right up the street. So look at it. It's a disgrace. In order to get from between here and there, we have 25 vans sitting in a bus stop. Mm -hmm. And that bus stop is equipped with cameras. But there's no enforcement. So what we need for you to do the same way you're calling us and you're calling our offices is make the same demands of agencies. Call 311, call the precincts, call the community boards and, and say, hey, unacceptable, right? We are trying to create an equitable old, overall transportation system that you deserve. And it starts with this. We are a community of buses, right? And we have, we have the uh, Atlantic ticket. Right, that will get you, you access to the Long Island Railroad that will get you reduced uh, prices. We're expanding that to uh, Penn Station. Right? Oh, but we also, we also need a bus network that will get you to the Long Island Railroad. Yeah. Right now, every bus stops you right here. That's right. That's right. And then you got to walk for right. right, in the dark to get to the railroad. But there's no access to roads there. There's no access to clean village. There's no access to St. Office Station, right? How do we do that? Let's reimagine about things about the things that we really need and make sure that we're having that conversation that we're engaging folks um, that we can really make it happen. So again, I would thank everybody for, for being here. Um, Councilman Bass? She just stepped out for She stepped out? So we left City Hall, we, man, we, we've been at City Hall like all day, and we just had the uh, uh, caucus, which we co-chaired with Black Hotel and Asian Caucus, uh, Council Member Adams and I, we met with the police commissioner, the entire executive team, and left there at 5.30. She drove, we took the J train, <laughs> and it was, it, was kind of, it was kind of the race to see about it. And, and those are the interesting things that we go through. Right? And like for me, I, I take the bus from the Cambria, like, up like, from the Cambria, like from the first to the last stop, the, the train from the first to the last stop. Who does that? We are uh, with the federal government deems an extreme transportation. This is like the longest commute almost anywhere in the country. And we deserve that. So let's make sure that we are intended, that we are engaged, and that we are participating. And uh, this is an opportunity. And so, to kind of really just filter, and what I was saying is, um, now, my studies is in transportation planning. Uh, there are some other experts in the room. Uh, but I doubt if anybody else, even if it was larger, would really know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Plan. So the reason why we ask, we, we convene this forum in this manner because they have a particular format that they follow, which is kind of explain and break you out into a table and, and with a map of something that you're not really going to understand. And I just really wanted to drill down on what the goals were and give some perspective about what we are trying to obtain. This is a real opportunity to do something that we have not done in, in the 50 years that I've been here, right? It, it just has not. And we want to be connected, we want to be accessible, and, and conversely, not only can you get somewhere else, but for those business owners that are in the room, other people can get to you. Your family won't mind visiting you on the weekend. Right? 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 Right?
train to death. And it's going to take too long. So we can be back. All right? And this is an opportunity to be back. So, we'll be back to Mr. Holmes. And now I hope that we all have a better understanding of what we are trying to accomplish. And there's Councilmember Adams. So, um, just uh, give her a moment to jump in. And, and then I know we're on the time for time. Thank you. 